Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's Thursday the 4th of February. We have new mods. We have a few updates. The updates are as follows. As usual, we're starting from top left. We have an update to the map Growers Farm by MJ Modding. It's saying in the mod tab it's new, but the map did come out about a week or so ago. It is an update. Uh, the John Deere Windrower by Sloitches Modding. The Glass Zerion 4000-5000 series by Smetty. The New Holland 980 CF6 by Shardy. The Big Bud 16 V747 by JHHG Modding. The Polish Mechan Mechanical Harrow by Tom Sky and Pisa PL. And the Lizard CT6500 by FBR Modding have all had updates today. In front of me then we have the Silo with Roof. This is by Agratron90. It is six slots on console. 5.13 megabytes to download. Very nicely detailed and textured, as you can see. We've got a section across the front here for storing anything you like, really. Uh, vehicles, bales, pallets, whatever you want. And then we've got two bunker silos. If I just open my help menu. As we go in, you can see fill level zero, compacting zero. This side, I, I put some in. I was going to fill it from front to back to see what the capacity would be. At the moment, that's got 135,000 litres in it, and we are, I mean, not even a quarter. If you look at each of those segments, well, let's go with dust in five pieces, fifths, maybe a fifth full. You're going to get a fair amount in there. My biggest concern is this. As I was filling, I thought it would come up to this level here, which would give you enough room to maybe get a tractor or a telehandler or something over the top to level it. It goes right the way up to here. Now, if you fill that right the way along at this level, you're going to struggle to get something between the top of that pile and the roof to actually level it, uh, to uh, compact it. So, I, I like that. Don't get me wrong, it looks fantastic. I mean, look at the, the detail on it, it's amazing. Absolutely incredible. And we've had a few of silos with roofs. I think the roof just needs to be higher, that's all. <laughs> I mean, I don't know whether you can come into the front with a, a really super leveller compactor and maybe just do the front section. It would take ages. You, you need to kind of go backwards and forwards. But anyway, it, it, you know, it is here. It, you know, you don't have to fill it right to the top like that. You might not even come close to filling it. But if you were going to, that could be an issue. under placeables and silos silo with roof 40 grand to buy uh, unfortunately it doesn't ever say i say ever sometimes you get it uh the uh, mod maker will put down what the capacity is they often put the size 25 meter by 18 meter but they don't always put what the capacity is um so you know but you can sort of see from there it's going to be could even be as much as 700, 800,000 litres, maybe. Maybe even more than that. But there you go. Silo with Roof by Agratron 90. Next. I've got the small garage. By Zemek, 23433. This is 20 slots on console. 10.41 megabytes to download. As you can see, it has lighting. The light switch for this one here is around the side there and the one for these ones at the front is between the doors and getting it without getting the doors come up as you can see can prove tricky there we go and then we've got a larger door at this end smaller doors all the way around the whole thing links up inside they're not separate bays Again, nicely detailed, nice sound effects. There's no lighting inside, just on the outside. This is under placeables and sheds. 15,000 to buy. Once you put the first one at 20 slots, it then comes down to one slot on console. That's by Prezemek 23433. Next, we've got this. This is the Modern Polish House by Tenzbeck. 
1.78 megabytes download. Two slots on console, although this one has got me mildly puzzled. Oh, I will say that. If I, I'm, I know I'm bouncing between open and closing this menu. If I come up to the front here, nothing comes up with regard to sleep trigger. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, it might not be a sleep trigger. It could just be a decorative house. And it absolutely could be. It is under farmhouses, though. On the end there, modern Polish house. So I, I mean, from that kind of assumed it was a sleep trigger. It may not be. I mean, at the end of the day, I can't find a sleep trigger. So I would say it, it will then just be a decorative one unless there's an update for it. But I've been all the way around. I thought maybe I'd put it the wrong way around. There was a door at the back as well, but there isn't. So, um, you know, it's a placeable house. A modern Polish one at that. That's by Tensbeck. Next, we've got this. I thought, I, again... <laughs> <laughs> when I did one of my mod reviews on Big Farm Fields, Big Fields Farm, whichever one it was, um, I thought I'd done one of these, but I think I maybe I'm imagining things. This is the silo for crops. It's by Bartson V3, 6.72 megabytes download, 15 slots on console. Big Daddy, I won't miss the animation on this one, I promise. <laughs> This takes regular crop types. If I come around to the side, I want to say here. There's a light switch, as you can see, it turns the light on. But we do have, I can't find the trigger. Light off. <laughs> there we go, install the discharge pipe. So that's the discharge pipe. Come on, where's the other one? Because that's going to be an absolute nightmare if we can't do the other side. There we go. Install the grain blower. And then we can hide them either side. So putting in is done at this side. Taking out is done at this side. You can put both of them away. Put them both out again. That pipe isn't particularly high. So you're not going to get very high sided stuff down the side of it. I like the addition of the light as well. So you've got a light either side. That's very nice. It's a good looking silo. Also under placeables and silos. It's a 40,000 litre capacity. It will cost you 25 grand to buy. And as I said earlier, it will do your regular crop types. It's not a multi-fruit silo or anything like that. There's no colour choices or anything. You get the red on it. Just like that. Next. We have this. This is the Cramper 301070. This is by Splinter Curti, 2.09 megabytes download, 13 slots on console. This is, in essence, a reskin of the one we've already got in game. You can change the colours and stuff on it. I think there's a couple of tyre choice options. I think with, I went with wide. Was it trailer balls or Michelin's? I can't remember now. On this one, it's nicely detailed. As, as far as I can tell, it, it's. I mean, it's the same trailer in essence, same capacity and everything like that. So this is under tools and trailers. So the standard in-game one, the SB2301070 is there. 78 grand, 59,000 litres and five slots. This one is 85 grand. It's, how many slots did I say it was? 13 slots. Same capacity, takes all the same stuff as far as I can tell. But I guess the differences are if you can change the colours and you've got a couple of extra tyre choices. I know it's not a big thing, it's, you know, it's, it, it isn't, but it's these things are what people base their decisions on. If you can get an identical trailer for the same, or for less, you, you know, I don't know. Maybe you just want to particularly go with the colour choice. But anyway, regardless, I'm just pointing out, uh, you can change the main colour to anything on that palette. We can change the rim colour. We have got on here I'm sure there was a chrome there's a chrome one there if you want to go for a chrome that's the only metallic one there is there and then design color changes the cover color like that then we've got the optional trailer ball and Michelin and each one we've got standard there's a wide tire option and back and a Michelin standard and wide 
it's entirely your choice i'm just saying there it is that's what it is that's the cramper 30 10 70 by splinter curti uh moving on from that i might need the lorry hang on a second we have this not the harvester but the trailer it's on this is the trailer for sugarcane harvester i'm going to say senior vertex this sr senior vertex tonsis agro farm br 7.2 megabytes download and 10 slots on console it's a nicely configured trailer i like the options on it unfortunately for me personally it's not quite there yet and again not a slight on the modders i'm just saying it does have straps which don't actually serve a purpose i mean I, at the end of the day i thought well okay you can strap anything you want down it you can put pallets on it you can put you know considering it's designed for this particular harvester i thought strap with that be cool you can strap it down because there's even a strap over that arm there which is designed for that harvester pipe but it doesn't actually strap over it it goes through it so that kind of initially got me a bit like oh okay um now also the ramps are a little bit jerky the animation's not particularly smooth um and then when i drove it out and accelerated and broke the harvester was moving so the locking script wasn't particularly so i thought with the straps maybe the straps will work as a locking script it didn't um what else oh, sorry i don't just you know we'll see it doing all the stuff you'll see in a minute and it's got a rear trailer hitch and i thought okay well, that's pretty cool so what you could do then is with the sugarcane harvesting equipment maybe bring out one of the sugarcane harvester um or harvest trailers so i, I grabbed the random trailer one of the big it wouldn't hook up to the trailer hitch so i mean yeah that's one trailer out of many but i thought i'd point it out this you'll find under tools and sugarcane technology there are a few options available we can change the main color and there are a few different ones there's star orange and vicon then we've got some metallics yellow metallic red metallic class monster metallic there's a few different options on there rim color we've got a chrome we've got a silver metallic black chrome i think i went for the silver metallic over the chrome in the end but we've got a blue metallic and a purple metallic and and then design colour, uh, let's go with something that's a bit different colour, changes the ramp and the um, support arm, I guess, um, colours on it as well. So you can do a real mix and match on the colours. Then options on tyres, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin and Mitres. Mitres are those standard knobbly tyres, like that. Trelleborgs, we've got 545R22s. We've got a 560 60R22. And then back again, I think. Then under Michelin's, I think we have three. 560 60R22s. 560 60R22s. Must have been the Michelin's then that just had the uh, that big chunky one I thought was quite cool. Oh, there we go. There's a wider one to it as well. There. But anyway. Then on the back, attaches, yes or no. So it's going to be a bit of sort of trial and error to find a trailer that will hitch. I thought the pin hitch one would work fine, but... Like I said, I couldn't get the random one to hook up. So as far as operation of the vehicle itself goes, or the trailer, it's a swivel axle at the front, which makes the turning circle very tight. So get in and out of tight corners and spaces, not bad at all. I'm going to open the menu. Under R1 and right stick up and down, it raises the ramps. Now, if I do them so it stays fluid, they go too quickly. And then they hit the ground quite hard and the whole thing bounces. But if you do it slower, they get a little bit jerky in places. It's just, you know, it, it just requires a little bit more finesse, I guess. And you can get them just to the ground where you need them. Straps you can do from in-cab or individually. As you can see. But as you can see on the support arm there, I put the strap on now. It goes through rather than round it. Like I say, it just it, it, 
because this is specifically designed for this harvester I thought well then that will it will surely the straps will hold this harvester in place other minor problem and it <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry um, is that this one has to back on because it's the actual pipe that hooks onto that or rests on that arm but backing up I got to a point here oh of course it would work now where the actual header was on the floor and I couldn't get over this tipping point oh it's done it again now look yeah you need to probably get a bit more of a run up maybe which again consider it's designed for this if I hit the side yeah you need to run up no nope, doesn't want to go on <laughs> well that's great that was I was trying to find its virtues I was say it's fine if you get a run up um, so again you be the judge I, I'm not I'm not looking at this mod any differently to how I look at any others I know whenever this happens people say oh you weren't doing it fairly you were doing that on purpose you didn't. I'm not at all I wanted this to be brilliant because it looks great and I love these harvesters and I thought a trailer specific for that that's really really cool I think it might need a, need a bit of work maybe a bit of an update apologies but that's just the way it is um, so next from there we have got this this is the Zator Major 80 by Pushcap 20 slots on console 9.79 megabytes download nice looking tractor with nice details there's a few options available on this with colors of rims and things like that we can change the color of the um, exhaust cover um, and rather than just having like chromes and blacks you can, you can put anything you like I think when I first checked it I put it on pink I don't, again not sure why and as you can see it has an opening door which is kind of handy if you want to get in and out of your tractor you'll find this under vehicles and small tractors 58 grand for the base model it's 75 horsepower you can't change the horsepower on it we can change the main color to anything on that palette we've got a Zetor 2 which is slightly darker more matte than a really kind of bright vibrant under Zetor 3 and then there's you know anything else on that palette you want to go for rim color again we've got ivories I don't know if we've got a chrome or a metallic one anywhere no just the standard in-game ones really and then design color is for like I said it's for the exhaust cover like so then we've got the option of Trelleborg and Michelin for the tires we've got the star rims full rims wheel weights wheel weights on the star rim and back again then the Michelin I think it's the same star rim full rim weights weights on the star rim and back again and then front loader attacher yes or no are your options I left the help menu open because I wanted to remember L1 and R1 rotate crane tool left or right on the right stick will open and close your door Horn, lights, beacons, nice little track to that, nice seats on the back, I do like, I've said it before, I do like the ones where you've got the little window, although the chair's in the way of that, the seat's back's in the way of that. Who was I watching the other day? Yeah, Mike Mitchell. One of the tractors he was in. The back of the chair, you can actually slide the back of the chair from side to side. So if you turn round to rest on, or so you can see down behind you, the back of the chair actually slides out the, out of the way, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. Brilliant idea. Hang on a minute. Is that rear window open? Or am I imagining stuff? Was that just the frame? That's the frame around the outside, isn't it? Yeah. Well, how did I open that? Anyway, we're out at the front. Nicely detailed.
very nice mod. The Zator, Major 80. And that's by Push Cap. Next, we've got this, the Cavernland PB100. This is a four meter plow. Incredibly well detailed. Again, it's those it's things like when you see the bolt heads and like individually, even like with the washers behind them. It's incredible. This is 8.79 megabytes download, 8 slots on console, and this is by Mate E. I think I've got that right. Mate E. You'll find it under tools and plows. 22,000 to buy, requires 200 horsepower, runs at 11 miles an hour. There are no options available. You get it just like that. And when you get it, it's not in this position. Weirdly, I hooked up to it and checked it how its operations, but it wouldn't let me put it back to the position I got it in. So what I'll do is fold plow. That's the transport position. And that's how you get it. So if you're going down the road, that's your transport position. Very nice indeed. Unfold plow. Twist it all and get it ready for operation in the field. Now, if I drop it down now, lower plow, and start going, it will pull out into the position it needs to be in, like so. But we do also have, under L1 and right stick side to side, we can change the angle of the mould boards. So at the moment they're all the way out, if I put more back, oh, I need to go straight, that would be great. I think it narrows the actual width. I'm trying to. It actually doesn't seem to make much of it. Maybe it's a little bit wider that way, looking from the other end to this end. Yeah, so you can adjust it to make it a little bit wider or a little bit narrower. What we can also do is raise the plow, and when you get to the end of the field and you turn around, you want your leading edge of your first mould board to be on the, where you left your last one. We can turn the plow, it takes a little bit of time. We turn the plow over, and you come back down the field the other way. I know I didn't when I turned around, but you can do it like that. You can create fields as well. L1 and triangle allow create fields, and then limit to fields so you can make your fields larger if you wish you can't actually let me say that but we'll let you detach in that position doesn't quite like it very much usually you can't detach or fold it it's not giving the option to fold unless you turn it back into its start position so when you roll it all the way back over into its start position you can fold it from there but you can't fold it from the other way and like I said if you fold it it then won't let you detach it you need to detach it from there. That's not like that at all, did it? Okay, well that's something to bear in mind. Let's try it this way. So if I fold it now, it doesn't give me the option to detach, it'll say you need to unfold it. Yeah. Hmm. So that's is that looks awful. That's the Cavernland PB one hundred by matey. Moving on, we've got this little fellow. This here is the ZJV F 3.2. This is by Farm Andre. 6.83 megabytes download, five slots on console. This is a slurry or digestate spreader. It's a 3,000 and something litre tank. 3,000? 200 I want to say it's a few different options whoa went a bit closer nicely detailed it's going to be for small farms and things you're not going to get a huge amount done with a with a 3200 litre does have your little gauge nice and crisp and clear this you'll find under where is it slurry tanks right on the end 2950 that's all it costs 
Runs at nine miles an hour with a five meter spread width. It will take slurry or digestate. We can change the main color to anything on that palette. Rim color to anything on that palette. We can have fender, yes or no. Wheel, standard or wide. Those are your options. We turn it on. And off we go. Nice animation, nice sounds. Does the job. Nice bit of kit that. That's the ZJV F 3.2 by Farm Andre. Next, we've got these the Scooter Marker Vertigo Pack. This and the next one are both by Matthew FS. So the Vertigo Pack is 7.88 megabytes download. They are five slots each. They are feed mixers. I'm going to open that again in a minute. I don't know why I just closed it, but. Weirdly, the picture in the store menu shows them both as two axle, but they're not. The smaller one, the Vertigo 120, is a single axle, which is uh, 12,000 litres, and then the Vertigo 180 is 18,000 litres. You can mix your feed mix into these um, either loose with bales, however you want to put stuff into them, you put it in. They do have um, an unload left or right. We've got both kinds here. Uh, we've got a couple of options available as well for attachment points. You've got a raised attacher point or a level or lower one. Um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they're mixer wagons. You don't have to do a Tomix ration in them. You can put straw in them if it doesn't turn to pellets. And you can use it for bedding your animals, for putting in your, your straw bedding. Um, or hay, if you do, you know, you can just use it for putting feeding. That's kind of the point of a mixer wagon. Nicely made. These you'll find under animals. Price-wise, they're pretty good. So the Vertigo 120, as I've already said, was five slots. 18,500, requires 90 horsepower to pull or operate. 12,000 litres. We can change it from upper hook to lower hook. And then we'll set up standard or wide. Those are the options. And then on the Vertigo 180, same thing. Upper hook, lower hook, standard or wide. That's 18,000 litres. And requires 140 horsepower to pull. Just trying to think, what was what's a close up to that 18,000 liters? Well, there you go. You've got the Trail Duo there, 18,000 liters for 53 grand. That's 30,500. Not bad. So. Turn them on, usually turns the mixing screw inside. As you can see, that's switched on. We do have the option to do tip side left or tip side right. And as you can see, you've got the mixing ratio bar there with the help window open. So when you get the right mix, they all go green. Now, doing mixes with bales is a little bit trickier when you've got a 12,000. No, maybe. The 18 might be a little bit trickier with 4,000 litre bales. Four bales is 16,000 litres, so you can always have kind of a half of a bale somewhere. This one's already got total mix ration in, and as you can see, all the bars are in the green. If I unload now, L1, R1, and unload here. It will unload as you go, which is kind of what it's supposed to do as you go. And the same thing, you can unload left or right. We do have lights, we do have indicators, which is kind of what you need, don't you really? And it's a mixer wagon. Very nice indeed. I like the price too. So also from Matthew FS, we had yesterday a trailer, a forage trailer. Um, today, this is the Shooter Marker Rapid Pack. These are 15 slots each. There are two of these, although I've only got one out. 18.59 megabytes of download. It's a loading wagon, so we've got the pickup. 
and it will then turn on and it will pick up swaths of whatever you've got on the ground uh, whether it's grass or straw or hay or you know same sort of design as the trailer we had yesterday and in the same sort of range same color scheme and those kind of things this you'll find under loading wagons but what was this i was impressed with this one as well was priced with these two so actually we've got the larger one first this time but the rapid 165 is 44,000 litres 70,500 to buy runs at 12 miles an hour the rapid 135 is a 33,000 litre also 15 slots 50,500 runs at the same speed picks up the same things options are the same on both of them the rapid 135 is just a little bit smaller so we can change the rim color from orange to grey to silver we've got the option of Trelleborg or Michelin with standard tyres oh sorry and Lizard the Lizard's why I went with the flotations I quite like those sorry Trelleborg Michelin and Lizard's which are the ones I, I say quite like now price wise and this is what I liked about this as well the Rapid 165 44,000 litres for 70,500 if you go across two there's also the Pottinger Faro for 70,500 that only takes 26,000 litres. So for the same price, you're getting a 44,000 litre one there. Pretty good. Pretty good. So. We'll hook it up. Hopefully we'll swing around. Right, so we turn it on. Lower the pickup. Pickup spinning. Go and collect our grass or hay or straw or silage or whatever forage it is you want to pick up with it. And then when you're done, turn it off, lift the pickup, unloading L1, R1 and triangle. Floor moves, back opens. And away you go. There's not much more to that, really. It's an loading wagon. Does the job. Good price. Not a bad capacity either. That's by Matthew FS. Which brings us on to the last of the mods for today, I believe. We have another map out today. Agra TSZ TSC uh, by Zoli708. Hopefully I will be getting onto that tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed. We shall see. And so the last of the mods for today is this Mahusive Beastie. This is the Brent Avalanche 2596. This is by NDMM Devo Media and 7L Farms. 16.18 megabytes download and 17 slots on console. It is a massive auger wagon on huge tracks very nicely made very nicely detailed it's 88,000 and something litres it's also got a counter on the side a counter <laughs> a scale a counter it's got a scale on the side weirdly it costs money to remove the scale not sure if that's the right way around or not but it doesn't matter. I'd rather keep it if it's not going to cost me anything. But very impressive here, kit. This will do a lot of a harvest in a lot of a field. Now we have got the Elmer's one already in game, which goes up to a 70,000 litre, doesn't it? So this is, uh, yeah, pretty large. It will do your regular auger wagon chaser bin crop types including seed and fertilizer which is what most of them do anyway you'll find it under auger wagons yeah the whole master is 93 grand and goes up to 70,000 litre which takes the price to 105 this one's 200 grand okay 
So for just over, yeah, that's a bit of a. Oh. If that does seventy thousand for just over a hundred grand, one hundred and five, you can get seventy thousand liters. So for two hundred and ten grand, you can get one hundred and forty thousand liters. Whereas that one for two hundred thousand will do eighty-eight. It does look good though, doesn't it? Eighty-eight thousand and ninety-seven liters requires five hundred horsepower to pull. <laughs> Wow. Um, we can change the main colour. John Deere green. Case IH red. Or the standard Brent green. We can have scale on. Which is zero. We zoom in on that. Now you can see. You might see it disappear. Scale off costs you 1,500. <laughs> to have it removed. That's very decent of them, isn't it? So scale on, scale off. Those are your options. The tracks are just... I mean, they have to be, I guess, when you consider the size of it, the weight it must contain. To avoid compaction and this thing bogging down, it has to have huge tracks in it. So, lights, indicators, got our little window at the back there so you can see stuff in. Cover, L1 and left on the D-pad opens and closes the cover. We have got a little bit in there and as I already kind of showed you, our scale is telling us we've got 25,227 litres in there. Pipe out, L1 and down on the D-pad. Opens up our pipe. We have lights on the Yorker pipe as well, as you can see with the lights on. Turn those off. Uh, but what we also have on here under L1 right stick side to side raises and lowers the auger pipe so you can get it for whatever size of trailer you're loading into uh, up and down adjust the nozzle up and down which also helps if you want to kind of shoot it out a bit further if you're a little bit too far away or something like that and then we got under R1 and right stick now this I don't know why this for me felt really creepy like like it was watching you, I watch. Tell me what you think. It's like it's turning to look at you, isn't it? It's like a head, I don't know. Is that just me imagining things? It's like that slow, considered, it's turning to look at you like, yeah, and? But anyway, so you can turn it that way, that way, that way, that way, and like that. Unloading, like so. And that's it. That's come. Engine off. That is the Brent Avalanche 2596 by NDMM Devo Media and 7L Farms. And that's it for today's mods. Tomorrow is Friday. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Something special is happening tomorrow. All I will say is for those of you that haven't watched it already, look out tomorrow for the Farm Sim show with Clutch Simulation and DJ Goham. That's all I'm going to say. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.